Hey everyone, welcome to GrowMed. In this video, we will look at certain one-line questions from the pharmacology which were asked in the past years in the FMGE exam. So let's begin. Uh, the first question, the orphan drugs are used for the treatment of the rare disorders. Okay, and this was asked as a one-liner in the past years. The next question, anti-diabetic drug that doesn't require dose reduction in the renal failure. And the answer is the linagriptin. If a one-liner is asked, then very easily you will be able to find out the answer. But they can give a clinical case also that a patient is in the renal failure and he is also a diabetic. So which kind of drug you will give to him or which kind of drug will be preferred in such patient, patients? So the answer is linagriptin. So moving on to the next question, the mechanism of action of the allopurinol and it is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. So a very famous question, allopurinol, a very important topic and this drug is used for the treatment of the gout. Okay, so gout, in the chronic gout, this allopurinol is used and if the question is asked for the acute gout, then you will be using the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or the colchicine. Okay, so if you're speaking about the colchicine, let's discuss another important uh, question related to the colchicine is its mechanism of action. It inhibits, so it inhibits the neutrophil migration. So it inhibits the chemotaxis so that the inflammation will not occur. Okay. So repeatedly questions are asked on this gout. So it is a very important topic, a high yield topic. Then let's move on to the next question. The teratogenic effect of the lithium. And the answer is the Epstein anomaly. The next question. Drug used for the diagnosis of the myasthenia gravis. And the answer is the adrophonium. So as it is short acting, we will be using this adrophonium for the diagnosis. And for the treatment, we will be using pyridostigmin. Benzodiazepine antidote, it is the flumazenil. The next question, preoperative drug for the pheochromocytoma, it is the fentolamine. So this fentolamine is an alpha 2 blocker and it is used for the symptomatic relief in the pheochromocytoma. Shortest acting beta blocker, it is the esmolol. Then drug of choice for the CMV retinitis and it is the Yancy Cyclovir. Okay, so this question also asked multiple times as we can see the CMV retinitis in a immunocompromised patient or a HIV patient. Then the antidote for the iron toxicity and it is the test of pyroxamine. So this question also iron toxicity asked in the each and every paper. So this question is asked in relation with the forensic medicine also and pediatric also giving a history that a child has ingested his mother's iron tablets and the mother has brought the child to the OPD. So what will you give or what is the antidote for the iron toxicity? So the answer is the desferoxamine. Then the next question, drug of choice for the mountain sickness or the high altitude. So whenever patient goes to the high altitude, they will develop hypobaric hypoxia. So the partial pressure of the oxygen will decrease at the high altitudes leading to the mountain sickness and the drug of choice for this is the acetazolamide. So it is a diuretic and its mechanism of action is it acts by blocking the carbonic anhydrase enzyme. So it is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. The next question, anti-glaucoma drug that is contraindicated in asthmatic and it is the trimolol. And the mechanism of action of trimolol is it is a beta blocker. So mm -hmm. we will avoid it in patient with asthma. Tumor lysis syndrome, drug to decrease the uric acid levels okay in tumor lysis syndrome which drug we will use to decrease the uric acid levels and the answer is the rascally case so this drug acts rapidly and removes the uric acid level in the urine so it is used for the management of the tumor lysis syndrome so this question can be given as a clinical case describing that a patient has undergone chemotherapy and after chemotherapy has developed tumor lysis syndrome so how will you manage that patient the next question, the side effect of tamoxifen, it causes endometrial hyperplasia. So the tamoxifen is a serum selective estrogen receptor modulator. So it is agonist at some places and antagonist at some places. And the main use of this tamoxifen is used in the breast cancer. So if one liner question is asked, then you'll be easily able to answer the question. But in a clinical case, they can describe you that a female for breast cancer was on tamoxifen therapy and she complains of irregular vaginal bleeding or heavy bleeding so what is the diagnosis it will be endometrial hyperplasia 
Okay, so the next question. The insulin of choice in diabetic ketoacidosis, it is the regular insulin. Okay, uh, so clinical case can be given describing a patient with high blood glucose and ketones in the urine. So how will you manage the patient or which insulin is preferred in this patient? So regular insulin is the answer. Then mechanism of action of doxycycline. This also question asked multiple times. Uh, so the mechanism of action of the doxycycline is protein synthesis inhibitor. So the drug of choice for acute gouty arthritis, it is the nasis. As we have discussed earlier here, that for acute we will be using nasis and the colchicin and allopurinol for the chronic. Then type of antagonism seen between the adrenaline and the histamine. So it is the physiological antagonism. Next question, shortest acting steroid and it is the hydrocortisone. So another very important question, the cycloplegic, the cycloplegic agent, you need to know the atropine, homotropine, tropicamide, which are used in adult and which are used in children. Okay, uh, so in children, it is the atropine ointment 1%. Because in children, there is high accommodative power. So we need to use a strong drug, drug that is the atropine. Then the next question, 100% bioavailability is seen with the IV route. As there is no first pass metabolism, uh, so the bioavailability will be 100%. Then the mechanism of action of zilutin, it is the LOX5 inhibitor. Okay, and this drug is used in the bronchial asthma. Then the drug of choice for the organophosphate poisoning and it is atropine. The next question, a new drug is introduced in the market after which phase? Of the clinical trial so uh, it will be introduced after the phase 3 of the clinical trial so clinical trial also a very important topic so the four phases 1 2 3 4 and which phase contains what you need to know it like in phase 1 healthy human volunteers then phase 2 the patients then phase 3 for a large number of patients and in the phase 4 we will be doing the post marketing surveillance then the drug of choice for the legionella it is the azithromycin drug used for smoking the addiction it is the penicillin then dopamine at low doses does what action causes increase in the renal blood flow so dopamine at low doses acts on the d1 receptor and at high doses it will act on the alpha receptor okay so it will be showing variable action on variable doses then the next another very important topic the mucormycosis this question also asked in every paper like in every paper you will be finding certain topics which are asked like the myasthenia gravis then the gout then this mucormycosis okay so the drug used in the mucormycosis it is the amphotericin B so if a clinical case is given then they will be describing that an immunocompromised patient or a diabetic patient or a COVID-19 patient is admitted to the ICU and after a few days they will be developing black necrotic discharge from the nose and the pain in the eyes so what is the diagnosis it will be mucormycosis and if they ask the treatment then you will need to mark it as amphotericin b in this short video i have tried to cover only the points which were asked repeatedly and i have also uploaded the videos regarding other subject one liners so you can go and find those videos on my youtube like the video subscribe to GrowMed, share this video with your friends and all the best for your exams thank you guys bye bye